Hi everybody. So this is the first of many videos documenting the horizontal stabilizer build. It technically should be the second one. I kind of screwed up and thought I was recording the initial few hours of work, but of course I wasn't. Video, uh, video photographer, I am not. <clears throat> so all I've really done up until this point was uh, deburr the <clears throat> main rear spar and doubler plate along with match drilling some holes, countersinking, <clears throat> and lining up some uh, elevator hinge brackets. Also, I had jumped the gun, and in front of you is uh, the flange bearing, which is two white powder-coated hinge brackets uh, with the bearing in the middle and then six uh, rivets around the edges. Anyway, so first thing you do is you will be riveting the double plate onto the rear spar, as I'm preparing to do here. Now just wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. Basically what happened was I put the uh, doubler plate on upside down and then started riveting it in place. The holes looked as though they lined, and technically they did, but there were two that did not, and only by about a quarter, uh, not a quarter of an inch, by about a couple of millimeters. So, yeah, had to have a little practice with the rivet removal tool which I cannot recommend enough rivet removal tool. It's basically, it's, it's basically a countersink made to fit over uh, the shop heads, not the shop heads, the machine heads of uh, rounded over rivets. Here I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit and trimming some stringers that will be attached to the front spar. Whenever I see pieces that have to get cleaned and deburred, I usually just jump the gun and go ahead and do it. If I'm going to be doing deburring sessions, I like to do just long, non-ending sessions of it. As you'll notice, the gloves that I'm wearing are no longer that pale sky blue that match that other jumper, but these are nice black, thick nitrile gloves that I picked up. Much happier with them. They don't break every five seconds. The only problem with these gloves is that you have to buy a very small size. You need these gloves to be tight. When trying to manipulate small pieces, uh, Loose fingers on gloves is, is, it's awful. So here I am riveting on the double plate like it's supposed to be done. So there's many, many videos for the horizontal stabilizer because uh, I didn't miss any. After missing the first few steps, I vowed I would never miss any. So be prepared for, oh God, I think it's about 16, 17 of these five-minute videos. And these are all sped up 20 times. So anyway, on to the next one.